Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for 27th, right around the 27th. You know, usually these readings play out a few days later for me. I don't know about you, I've heard all kinds of different things. I've heard that people can go find one from a month ago that calls out their name and it resonates at that time, which is interesting. But anyway, my, the, for me, when I do the daily vibe, it usually plays out a couple days later. So what do we have? What kind of message do I need to deliver today? Sometimes it's the day of. Sometimes it is. Sometimes it is the day of. Exactly the day of. So, sometimes it's the day I do the reading. Even though I've, I say it's for the next day. It's really, it plays out. It plays out, but it plays out at a when I least expect it. When you least expect it. Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups is saying goodbye. Leaving. Leaving behind an emotionally dissatisfying situation. So somebody's saying goodbye. They are. They're, they're uh, too worn out by the whole situation. Looking for something more. So somebody is definitely saying goodbye. They're taking the steps they need to leave, okay? Five of Cups. Whew. Ah. So these are both cards of a breakup of some sort. They are. The Eight of Cups and the Five of Cups, whether this is upright or reversed. This is prolonged grief. Sadness. And there has been some sadness here. Moving on. Somebody is definitely moving on. It's time to focus on the future. I mean, that is what is going on here. Absolutely. Beginning to realize there's got to be something better and there is something better. Now, the, the Five of Cups reversed... is a card, it could be forgiveness. Hmm. Justice. Justice could be about forgiveness as well. It could be. But justice is a card of integrity, a final decision. The decision is final. Okay, the decision is made. There's about. This is about bringing balance back. It's about doing the right thing and acting with integrity. There's also some sort of karma here. Somebody may have received karma for their previous actions. Justice. Everything's going to turn out as it should. This is no toleration for lies. <clears throat> Queen of Swords. Oh my God. Definitely no toleration for lies. It just clarifies, clarifying that Justice card. So we could be dealing with a Libra. Gemini, Aquarius, doesn't have to be, but we have a final decision that is being made based on the facts. Now, the Queen of Swords has some sort of information, okay, that is the sword of truth, that is the sword of power. She has the power in her hands. Now, I'm saying she because it's she on the card, but does it have to be a she at this point? She knows the truth. 
and and you know she's reaching her hand out looking for the truth and she's willing to listen listening to the truth we could you know i'm not sure if we have a judge here or a ruler or somebody that it doesn't have to be a judge this is somebody that has the power that is in authority that is listening listening okay they're listening to the truth this is somebody that is very intelligent It's time for the truth. It definitely is. Now, the Queen of Swords is a quick thinker. She thinks fast. And she's open to a new perspective. Now, the Queen of Swords is somebody that is very independent, very wise, very intense, very calculating, uh, very intuitive, very assertive. Feels like there's there's getting somebody's gonna get what they deserve, okay? Because of the justice card, there's somebody getting what they deserve based on some sort of truth, and it's karma as well. Somebody's gonna get exactly what they deserve, you know. It is what it is. She knows there's there's that it's time to make a decision. I was just gonna say she knows it's karma, uh, but hmm, the Queen of Swords here. She's she's like, what do you got for me? That's what I feel like she's saying. What do you got for me? What do you got to say? You better come with the truth, because I know the truth, and there's no toleration for lies. Now, there could be some, the, the Five of Cups reverse could be a reunion. So I'm not sure if somebody is coming around, coming back, that hurt another person, that walked away, that left. Maybe they're coming back. That could certainly be the case. But she will only accept the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. The Ace of Cups. So she's looking at an opportunity for love. The Ace of Cups is, is love. Okay, this is a big opportunity for love. This is a new start. Could be a reunion. Could be a new love. Whatever it is, this could definitely be a reunion or a new start in love. Somebody is going to be doing the right thing. Remember I said something about forgiveness? Somebody may be asking for forgiveness. You know, changing their plea. I don't think I've ever said that either. You know, they maybe have maybe they have some sort of remorse or something. <laughs> Ace of Cups is an outpouring of love, an outpouring of emotion. It is. Of wands oh my god so this is definitely some sort of news coming in or a communication coming in very fast this is triumphant news arriving very very quickly it is about love uh, it's, it's about extreme love it's about uh, real love okay this is uh, passionate uh, forward movement we have a we have a individual that has the power in their hands and this person is willing to listen. This person is willing to listen. There is definitely going to be some communication coming through from somebody that has made a decision to follow their heart. I don't know if there's going to be an apology. Somebody may get an apology. They may be asking for forgiveness. You know, and I don't know, changing their plea, something about a contract. Now, we could be dealing with a lawyer or somebody that is, uh, you know, in the judicial system that has some sort of information that changes in a person's outlook. And I know I'm changing the story, but I just needed to say that. Um, but this is triumphant news arriving very, very fast or a message 
a message of love is coming for this individual who is probably uh, brash okay the Queen of Swords she will only accept the truth you can't pull the wool over her eye she won't no mm -mm. she had definitely has no toleration for lies none This Queen of Swords, whoever she is that has, you know, she's been hurt. The Queen of Swords is a, is a person that has been hurt. Very protective. Very intelligent. It looks like she is, uh, she's reaching out to that Ace of Cups. Ten of Wands reversed now underneath the Justice card. Somebody is making a conscious change to bring balance back to their lives. They're willing to drop something. They're willing to drop a burden. They want to drop a burden. They've been overwhelmed. They've been trying to uh, prove something. And now it's like they don't have anything left to prove. They just want justice or they just want to do the right thing. I don't want to carry this anymore. It's been overwhelming to have this hanging on their back. Now this is like a collapse. It's letting go. It's letting go of the need to prove. It's giving up. It is. It's giving up on the need to prove uh, something. There's some sort of fact here. The fact is there's a big opportunity for love and there's going to be a change very, very fast, okay? Just so you know. Things are going to change fast. A decision is, is being made and it is a final decision. Six of... Something about the past. We have the Six of Cups reversed. This is somebody that... From the past... This is somebody that that is, uh, they may be wa having a reunion with somebody from the past or wanting a reunion with somebody from the past. Now, this, this could be somebody that they knew from years ago. They're walking away from... Uh, Well, we only got three cups here now, so a third party situation. They're walking away from somebody. Somebody is walking away from an individual that didn't make them happy. And we got the three of cups here as well. Because they know that there's another opportunity with somebody else. They do. They absolutely know it. They know, it's like you already know this person. And I know a lot of you guys don't want to hear that. There could This could be new love. It could be. But you may feel very familiar when you meet this person. Familiar. But this is a making a conscious change. Dropping a burden. Dropping weight. Dropping baggage. I feel like we have a, a individual that has been hurt in the past. She is, this person is receiving a big opportunity with love, for love. You know, and I feel like there's words, there's messages, texts, whatever. Whoever is going to be doing the messaging is following their heart and doing the right thing. Moving. They could be moving. Somebody is moving. You know, Ten of Swords reverse right next to the Ten of Wands reverse. Now, Tens are completions. This is the end of a cycle. It's the end of suffering. It is definitely the end of trying to prove. Somebody has reached the point where they just can't do it anymore. I can't do this anymore. They can't. They can't. There's, there's a lot of memories with somebody, perhaps, that they left. Anyhow, the Ten of Swords reversed and the Ten of Wands reversed. This is a, uh, it's the death of a situation, really, it is. It's like the worst has happened. Something is coming back from the dead. We have freedom here. Freedom from a third party. 
There's, there's, uh, we could have somebody here that has some chronic health problems. Perhaps somebody has made a decision to release an old love and now this old love is coming back. And I hate to say that, I do. I feel like there is something coming back or there's like a death experience. This is freedom from obligation as well. Packing up, somebody's leaving home. And I feel like there's going to be a reunion with somebody that they have a true love connection with. And maybe this reunion is a past life connection. I don't know. But there is love here and it is big love. <coughs> Page of Pentacles reversed. Now this is a dead end. There's a blockage standing in the way of someone achieving their goals and that blockage is the third party it is somebody has become lazy and complacent and they've lost sight they've lost sight they've lost sight of the path they've lost sight of their goal They didn't follow through when they should have. They gave up prematurely. They got distracted. Somebody got distracted by trying to prove something or by their job or other responsibilities. Somebody got distracted from their true path. Excuse me. But there is a message that is coming. Oh, King of Pentacles reversed. Right here. Now, somebody was focused on money. They were focused on uh, everything but love. Okay. Somebody was focused on everything but love. When you get the King of Pentacles in reverse, it's somebody that is very shallow, very superficial, very... Uh, focused on money. But now I feel like there's a change of heart. There is a change of heart. And I feel like this person that is was very superficial um, may have received some sort of karma. And there could be some financial setbacks. That's what the karma could be. Financial setbacks. Maybe they've lost their job or they're losing money. And karma works in mysterious ways, right? It does. I do see financial loss here. There is some sort of financial loss. Um, the hangman. The hangman. So this is enlightenment. Somebody has been enlightened. The hard way. A new perspective was needed. And they may have been trying to punish another person. This is punishment. Something about probation or parole. Somebody may be being punished. Karma is real. There could be a court ruling that is coming for an individual that didn't act with integrity. Okay, just saying. This could be punishment. This is... Uh, Probation, parole, not doing, somebody didn't do the right thing, they didn't. But they may have become enlightened the hard way. Now this is enlightenment that comes the hard way. Somebody had a lesson to learn about integrity. This is this uh, there's there's an individual that has been thinking 
and they've been thinking a lot and they've gained some sort of new perspective about love. That's what we have here. And I think they gain the new perspective because of karma. I do. I feel like it's karma because of the law. And it's like they're they're experiencing financial setbacks because you have to do the right thing. You won't be rewarded for that forever. So there is a message or messages coming in from an individual that has uh, lost some of their security or their stability or um, this person may be losing weight. They may be ill. They may be sick. Whatever. Karma works in that kind of way. This person has gained a new perspective, for sure. And they've been having a hard time struggling to let go of their ego. Because there's ego here. But somebody's ego has gotten the best of them. Anyhow. A star. The star is a card of healing. It's help arriving. This is the star is, is hope. There is hope. There is hope for renewal. Somebody is probably hoping for forgiveness. They're hoping for renewal. They're hoping for uh or they've been praying, praying for love or praying for a reconciliation, whatever. The star is your wish being granted. Your prayers being heard, it really is. There is hope for renewal here. This is a new purpose. This is a unexpected help arriving. Because the star comes after the tower. I feel like we have an individual that's health, their health has declined, their financial situation has declined. I feel like justice or karma has been served. This person has gained enlightenment through suffering through this situation and now they have a new perspective on life or love or something like that. Anyhow, the star is a card of hope and wishes being fulfilled. Somebody is wishing. They are wishing for forgiveness. Or they're hoping for forgiveness. That's what I see. The star is a card of guaranteed success. It is. Guaranteed success when you act with integrity, when you do the right thing. On the bottom we had the page of wands, so there is some news coming in. This is good news. Something is about to burst right into your life, right into your world. This is good news arriving. A message is coming, an offer or an invite. <coughs> I don't know why I'm coughing. I haven't smoked. Um, and I'm not sick. There is an offer or an invite that is coming that is going to be exciting. This could even be a new suitor that is coming in. Maybe that's your justice, getting what you deserve. After being hurt by somebody. Okay? Somebody was left for dead. They experienced a near-death experience with somebody from the past that left them high and dry. Now this person is getting a new chance for love. Whoever this person is that has been hurt so badly is getting a chance for love. I think it's going to come fast. I think it's going to come really, really fast. It's like all of a sudden... This person is, is right in front of you. We could be dealing with a Libra or an Aquarius. 
Pisces, male. Um, we also have uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, feminine, Pisces, feminine. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, male or female. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have everybody. Uh, we do have everybody, so it really doesn't matter. Somebody is coming. Somebody is coming, and they are coming in fast. They know what they want. This is like what exactly what you asked for. That's what I got. Good luck.